Hello guys and welcome to M16 Modeling Part 10. Okay, so let's get started. And what you want to do is you want to isolate this by clicking on it and clicking on that arrow up there. And then you want to go to insert an edge loop here. And then insert one at either side and you can delete the middle one. And then if you select the ones at either side like this, scale them out in the Z. So like that, just scale out a bit. Then you want to select these faces here. These three faces here. <coughs> and what you want to do is you want to extrude them. And you can just pull them down and then scale them and then what you want to do is you just want to pull it down just a bit more and then you can delete this face here and delete this face as well and what you can do up here is <coughs> just don't do any of this yet do not select the faces or anything right so what you want to do is you want to try pull this face so it matches up with these vertexes here so you can shift select them then merge do it with the other side as well merge them vertexes together <coughs> okay And now you have to go to Edit Mesh and Append Poly. And you just want to append it from there to there, here to here, and on the other side as well. Like that. Okay. And now if you select these faces again. You can just scale them up just a little bit. And then what you might want to do is you might want to lift it up just a little bit just to get a nice curve here. Okay. <coughs> and then what you want to do is you want to select these inner faces and then you want to just scale them out just a bit more. And set the normal angle to 32 by going to normals, set normal angle, okay. And you want it at 32. And now what you want to do next is you want to select this face here. And you want soft selection on by going to your move tool and clicking soft select. And you want the radius to be 1.4. And you just want to select these faces around here and you want to scale them in. Just scale them in. To about something like that. And then you want to get a, a tube, yeah, a tube, and you want pipe, sorry, and you want the pipe to be polygon pipe, and you want the axes to be you can just leave it as 18. Remember to turn off soft select, and you want to select these bottom three faces. And you want to extrude them, just pull them down and scale them in the Y. Just to get them nice and straight. And then you want a cylinder. 
and you want the ax subdivision axis to be 5 you want to rotate it 90 degrees in the X and then you want to delete these faces here and here and you want to push it in to your model like that okay and then you want to scale it just so it fits in and first you can just like grab the vertexes and just pull them out of a model but you've got to scale it in just to give it a nice fit and just rotate it a bit just so it looks you know round when you're like looking through the site okay and now you want to slip them vertex in and just pull them out and then if you select both the models together and you go to mesh and combine it makes it one object and then you want to go to modify and center pivot you want to rotate it in the Y 90 degrees and then you want to pull it just to your model and it's easy if you do it by the front side and top view so it's up to you which way you want to do it okay and now we've got to align it so it's perfect for looking through in the game okay so just scale out just a bit more I just keep scaling it and lift it up just a little bit. And then you want to go to vertex mode and select this vertex and just pull it in. And same with this one, just pull it in like that. And just make sure it's in the center. Okay. So if you select the back faces, you can like just pull out just a little bit more to give it some depth or width or whatever. And then you want to select this part here and you want to isolate it. And then what you want to do you want to select all these faces here just the top ones extrude them in scale them down in a Y pull them down just to about there and then you can merge the vertexes together so merge vertex merge them okay And now you can delete these edges up here. And you just want to make sure that no other edge is selected when you delete it. Okay, so once you've got them edges selected, you can delete them. And if you deselect these middle edges here and just delete the top ones, and then you can go to Merge Vertex Tool and just drag it to this corner here, like that, and it merges them vertexes together. And if you lower down them vertexes, it'll just make it look nice and smooth. Grab all the inner faces, and what you want to do then is you want to scale them out. You want to select the top face and just make sure that was straight. 
Okay. And now what you want to do is you want to go to split polygon tool, insert split from here to here, and here to here, and do the same on the other side, to here, and there to there. And now what you can do is you can delete these edges here, and here. Just select them, don't double click them. Right, just make sure that you keep the top edges in, otherwise it'll make it look all blocky and stuff. So you just want to delete the ones that are inside here. And just delete. And that should be it. And if you select these vertexes and do soft select, and put it to be about 250. Select all the top vertexes, do soft select, the radius to be about 250, and you just want to scale them in just a little bit. Change it to 2, and the radius to 2, and you can scale them in again. And now what you can do is you can turn off soft select or just point to point 20 and just curve and rotate these vertexes here and just pull them out just a little bit. Okay. So something like that. Turn off soft select grab all the inner faces and what you want to do is you want to just scale them in just a little bit okay and now what you want to do is you want to go to polygons you want to get a cylinder and just drag it out anywhere and then you want to cut subdivision axis to 18 and you want to just scale up just a little bit select all the top edges and just bevel them give the offset to be about 0.2 offset to be 0.2 select bottom faces and just delete them get a cylinder Axes to be about 8. Put it underneath your model. Just scale it up just a little bit. And just scale it up in the Y just a little bit more. Combine them both together. I'll just center pivot, it's up to you. So combine and center pivot. Use the top side and front view just to line it up and put it right in the middle of your site here. And then you can go to your front view or side view. And you just want to lift it up. And of course you want to scale it down. and you want the scale to be about 0 0.85 0 0.085 sorry and just adjust it just a bit more scale the top faces okay now if you look through your site you'll be able to see like that. If it looks like that it's perfect, it's, it's 
spot on. Okay. As you can see, like, if you go into your side view, you might just need it adjusting them just a little bit. So you can either just pull it up just a little bit or just scale it up. If you pull it up, remember, grab the bottom faces and just like pull them down just a little bit. Just go inside your model. Pardon me. Alright, and that's it for the M16 modeling tutorial. Now for the detail if you get a picture from Google you should be able to do it yourself okay guys so I'm just gonna go through what Fred did to add the detail okay <clears throat> so as you can see here on the body there's like loads of cylinders and when you add texture these will be screws and stuff okay and this is just a stretched out cylinder with a cylinder inside it and on the other side this is a cube with a bevel and a cylinder there which is split in half as you'll be able to see now when Fred pulls it away okay and these here are just cubes again this one's a beveled cube split in half and this is a cylinder with a cube on it which I think is a safety switch should be yeah and again another screw okay so for the sight or whatever you call it upper body when it separates this uh, this is just a cube and it's had stuff extruded out of it as you can see and being extruded inwards okay and again another cylinder with another cylinder on top or extruded out and that's a sight it's made two of them and I'm sure you'll be able to like rotate and switch between them mm-hmm okay now this is also a cylinder and what is done you just deleted the cylinder actually out of the model because you don't need it there. Okay. Um, this thing here is a shell blocker or whatever you call it. Okay. And as you can see, he's deleted them faces as well. Shell blocker, I don't know. This is cylinders with a pretty basic cube and some cubes in the shape of a N, a stretched out N, okay, as you can see, okay, so you don't have to get all fancy when you're making details, alright, and texture also helps a lot with getting details, and this again is another cylinder cut in half, and this is another cube, and you can delete most of the faces that you don't see in the model so so that's good and remember to do your own designs because different uh, countries for the weapons have different details on them you know different attachments or whatever it's up to you what you want to do really and when you make a model and finish it, you know, leave it as a video response and we'll comment on it, giving some CC, constructive criticism. So, thanks for watching, please subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks guys.